Good day ladies and gentlemen, Rosa here of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Our video for today is about the recent presidential preference results by Pulse Asia Research with study period March 17 to 21, 2022 with 2,400 respondents. For the benefit of those who are new in the channel, here is what we are going to do. We shall compare the results, albeit unscientifically, with our Kolya survey summary conducted last March 1 to 15, 2022 as well to find out if there is any major significant statistical difference between the two. Secondly, to give us a better sense of what the survey figures are all about, we shall quantify them to the estimated actual voters based on the Comelec data of actual registered voters for the May 9, 2022 elections. Before we proceed, please allow us to make the following requests. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Kindly share the videos as well. Please do not forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment portion. We would just like to reiterate that the words you use is a direct reflection of you as a person. Thank you. We shall now start after the brief channel intro for a few seconds. Before we proceed with the comparison and quantification of data, let us look back at the result of our Kolya survey summary from March 1 to 15, 2022. This study has 3,000 respondents nationwide. The distribution of the respondents are based on the number of registered voters per region. Margin of error is at 2% with confidence level set at 95%. Undecided is 13.2%. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with a 54.2% preference share nationwide. He is followed in second place by VP Lenny Robredo with a distant 13.4%. At third is Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 9% preference shares. Senator Manny Pacquiao is fourth with 8.5%. He is followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 2% preference shares nationwide. Before we proceed with the comparison and quantification of data, let us look back at the result of our Kolya survey summary from March 1 to 15, 2022. This study has 3,000 respondents nationwide. The distribution of the respondents are based on the number of registered voters per region. Margin of error is at 2% with confidence level set at 95%. Undecided is 13.2%. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with a 54.2% preference share nationwide. He is followed in second place by VP Lenny Robredo with a distant 13.4%. At third is Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 9% preference shares. Senator Manny Pacquiao is fourth with 8.5%. He is followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 2% preference shares nationwide. Before we proceed to the highlights of this video, namely the quantification of the Pulse Asia Research Survey results and our splat analysis, let us reiterate our campaign to stop the hate. Let us not allow our differences between the choice of our candidates get in the way of us being relatives, friends, and Filipino citizens. Elections are divisive in nature, but let us not allow this divisiveness to diminish our humanity. Thank you. Let us now look at the quantification of Pulse Asia survey data. As mentioned earlier, 
To provide everyone a clearer picture of what these preference share means we shall equate or quantify this to the actual number of estimated voters that each candidate may garner on May 9, 2022 based on the actual number of registered voters. Based on the Comelec data, there is approximately 65 million registered voters. We shall use 82% as the probable actual numbers who will vote. This is based on the last national election voter turnout. By computing this, we are able to estimate that the number of votes that will be cast is around 54,940,000 votes. Let us now go a step further and compute for the estimated number of votes per presidential candidate based on their polls Asia preference shares after factoring in the estimated number of actual voters, 82%. Front-running former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. with 56% preference share is estimated to receive approximately 30,766,400 votes. At second place VP Lenny Robredo with 24%, she is estimated to garner around 13,185,600 votes. Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 8% preference share is estimated to get around 4,395,200 votes. Senator Manny Pacquiao with 6% preference share is estimated to receive approximately 3,296,400 votes while Senator Ping Laxon with 2% will approximately receive around 1,098,800 votes. Let us now compute for the estimated vote leads of the first and third ranked presidential candidates. If we deduct the estimated votes of frontrunner former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. with second rank VP Lenny Robredo, the estimated lead of former Senator Marcos Jr. will be around 17,580,800 votes or simply 17.6 million votes. If we do the same simple calculation with that of former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso, it would yield approximately 26,371,200 votes lead for Marcos Jr. Now for the second and third rank VP Lenny Robredo and Mayor Isco Domegoso, Applying the same calculation, VP Lenny leads Mayor Isco with approximately 8,790,400 votes. Has the enormity of the possible vote lead sink in yet? We shall now proceed to the analysis. Again, we shall make this short and sweet. Splat analysis, this is our analysis based on the presented scientific statistical data. With 33 days left before the May 9th elections, and trailing by around 17.5 million votes, the camp of VP Lenny needs to gain 532,000 new voters per day. Yes, over half a million voters per day just to tie BBM. Where would these voters come from? The chance of her even catching up is zero, the probability of winning is also zero, none, nada, silch. We have said this time and time again. As long as former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s preference shares are in the majority, no other presidential candidate can beat him. As long as four or more other candidates will divide amongst themselves the minority preference shares, they have no chance of winning. The game is over even before the first ballot is cast. Game over. Game over. Game over. Zero. No chance. Nada. None. Silch. Game over. We have reached the end of this video, hope you liked it. In behalf of my partner Wina and the entire Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.